To say that I'm giddy as a child would be an understatement after watching a full TV show in one sitting. This show caught me off guard not only by letting us see it a day earlier, but because it looks like Hollywood have finally understood how to make video game adaptations. This show does a lot of things well, from its writing. Well now that is a very small drop in a very, very large bucket of drugs. To their fights. Only you. And they've stayed true to the timeline hinting at a possible continuation to the show. However, they have also revealed a large new factor which people have had theories about for years. This TV show reveals a new faction in this wasteland that may change the tides of the future and the power structure. This faction, which at this point in time does not possess a name, but which I will call the Round Table, this faction, similar to the Enclave, originated before the Great War and had its sights on the future of America. The Round Table was formed up of vault Ropco, West Tech, Big Mountain, and Repcon, America's most powerful corporations who plan to carve up post-apocalyptic America between their companies. This new faction isn't just the Enclave but with a corporate twist, but they're the ones that started the Great War itself. Yes, I know you heard me right. After 25 years, we finally get proof of who dropped the bomb first. And it wasn't USA or China, it was vault and the Round Table's plan to put all their enemies and government out of business and eliminate them so that in hundreds of years they would be able to re-emerge and take everything. This not only allowed them to outlive their enemies, but with hundreds of vaults they will be able to conduct all sorts of tests and research inside them, which we have seen in every follow game. Not only that, but the show puts a twist on the traditional Find the Father narrative and turns the father of Lucy McLean into a member of vault who was cryogenically frozen for hundreds of years in Vault 31. He's only a small part of the Round Table's plan as he's supposed to be one of the first few Vault 31 members who would breed with Vault 33 and 32 so they could rise and take the wasteland. However, it seems that the Round Table's plan did not fully come to fruition because of the NCR being founded in the hundreds of years while they were asleep in the vaults. The NCR government, however, came to an end when after 2277 and the fall of Shady Sands, it got bombed out of existence by the Round Table. This would lead to the NCR's demise. And, as seen at the end of the TV show, we realize vault aren't the only member of the Round Table to stay alive, but Mr. House was also victorious in the events of Fallout New Vegas. If we shall see a season 2, this will mean it will see the characters venture from California into New Vegas and the Mojave Desert to see what has come of it and the characters that we have not seen for so long. We will probably also find out what happened to Caesar's Legion, and the Courier, and if he's still around with Mr. House. This sets up a lot for the plot of Season 2, which could have the Ghoul and Lucy return to Vault 33 and see all that has changed there and find the Ghoul's family, which could be frozen possibly. We will also be in store for other members of the Round Table, like the members of Big Mountain, if they are still alive and haven't been obliterated by the Courier. Season 1 was amazing, and I can see season 2 being even better with New Vegas being teased. All in all, I feel like not only did this TV show take everything from the games and transform it into live action, but also put the future of Fallout on an exciting new path, but also let the fans in on a lot of what happened before the Great War. This show was a joy to watch and probably one of the best video game adaptations. I truly hope that we will see a season 2 as this was an absolutely amazing show which deserved to be continued as I would absolutely love to see New Vegas, Mr. House and more of Fallout brought into live action.